Hi everyone, I'm Andy Neal and this is an In-N-Out tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10. Today I'd like to discuss the new Replace Edit in Final Cut 10. First of all, what is a Replace Edit? And how is it different in this version of Final Cut? Well, a Replace Edit is an advanced editing technique for swapping shots in an already edited sequence. It's also one of the least understood types of edits, as well as being one of the most powerful. To demonstrate how the Replace Edit works in most NLEs, I'm going to open up a project in Final Cut Pro 7. OK, here's a small sequence. Now the shots have already been timed out to the music, but let's say I want to make a change. For example, this shot here is a little weak, so I want to replace it with another shot. Here in my browser, I have my new shot. I'm just going to play it a little bit. You can see that there's this movement in the frame, which I'm going to want to time out to this particular beat in the music. But see, this beat comes in the middle of the current shot. This is where the Replace Edit really comes in handy. You scrub in the viewer to place the playhead at the exact moment of action that you want. I'm going to move it to about here. Now you don't need to place an in or an out point because the Replace Edit doesn't need ins or outs. You just need to mark a frame with the playhead. Then in the sequence, place the playhead exactly on the start of that beat. Essentially, you're marking a frame in the sequence as well. Make sure that the video destination is pointing to the clip on the correct track. The shot that we're replacing is on track two, so I'm gonna move the destination track to V2. Then hit the shortcut for replace edit, which is F11 on the keyboard. Without any ins or outs established in the timeline or the viewer, the clip in the sequence is replaced with our new clip in such a way that the frame we indicated in the viewer is synced up to the playhead in the timeline. Final Cut simply syncs the two playheads together and fills in the frames before and after it. It's a wonderfully powerful tool that experienced editors get a lot of use out of. Now let's close this down and open Final Cut 10 because you can't run the two versions of Final Cut at the same time. Now that you know how a replace edit is supposed to work, exactly how does it work in Final Cut 10? Well, it turns out it works quite differently. Here is the same sequence. Once again, I need to replace this shot with another shot. This time, however, I'm gonna use this clip that I mocked up in motion as my replacement. It's just a quick graphic that's uh, 10 seconds long and it's got running time code burned into it so that you can see what's happening. I'm going to replace the clip simply by dragging it over and on top of the existing clip in my project. The clip highlights, and then when I release the mouse, a menu pops up asking me what I want to do. In fact, there are a total of four options for replacing that clip with my new one. There's replace, replace from start, replace from end, and replace and add to audition. I'm going to ignore the last one for a bit because it's a special case. So let's start with the good old fashioned replace. Okay, this didn't react at all like I expected based on what I know about replace edits. I mean, it certainly replaced the clip, but it also lengthened my entire sequence. If I scrub my new clip, you can see that the entire graphic has been added to the project, all 10 seconds of it. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that and try again. As I drag over the clip this time, I'm going to choose Replace from Start. Once again, the clip is replaced, but this time, the new clip remains the same length as the old clip. If I scrub the project, you can see that the new clip was edited in from the beginning, but it ends wherever the old clip ended. Hit Undo again, and I'm going to drag it in one more time. This time, I'm going to choose Replace from End, but you'll probably be able to guess what's going to happen. Once again, the clip stays the same length, but this time it was back timed so that the shot ends on the last frame of my clip. So of these first three ways that I can replace a clip in Final Cut 10, none of them gives me the kind of replace edit that I was able to do in Final Cut 7. But that doesn't mean that it's not a useful tool. After all, replacing a clip with another that has a different length is actually pretty powerful and easy, much easier than in a previous version, which requires two steps. Also, you can set in and out points to your replace edit. Let's undo and get back to my initial clip. This time, I'm going to scrub in my thumbnail 
and choose a point in the middle of the clip, like right about, I don't know, here. I'll hit I on the keyboard to set an in point. Then I'll just play forward for a bit and hit O on the keyboard. If I drag the clip over and choose replace, the clip changes length, but this time it's only as long as the range that I had created. I'm just going to hit undo and drag it in again, choosing replace from start this time. Now you can see the clip remains the same length as before, but the beginning of the clip starts where the in point was in the event browser. And of course, I would get the same response from using replace from end. It will back time the clip from the out point that I set. Unfortunately, Final Cut 10 can't do the kind of replace edit that I showed you earlier. But as you can see, it can do some very useful replace edits. Now I just want to talk for a moment about the replace option that I skipped over. And that's the replace and add to audition. Without getting into it too much, an audition is a way of stacking more than one shot into a single clip, allowing you to audition which one you prefer before you make a decision. Think of it as uh, different takes on the same scene. I'm just going to drag my replacement graphic on top of my clip and choose Replace and Add to Audition. Now the initial result is similar to the first Replace option. It lengthens the entire project. But this time, there is a new little icon in the upper left of the clip. If I click it, a little HUD shows up, and you can see that my original shot isn't gone. It's actually here in a list of takes. I can switch between the two shots by using the arrow keys and just click done or hit the enter key when I've chosen which shot I want to use. This replace edit is particularly useful if you're not sure that your replacement shot is actually better than your original shot. You can always go back to the audition even much later in the edit process and swap the shot back. I'm Andy Neal and these are the ins and outs of the replace edit in Final Cut Pro 10.